Hello, magandang araw po. My name is Ruby. Welcome to Pacholi Software Solutions Getting to Know MYOB video series. Welcome once again. Please join me here and we will be exploring how to enter a supplier's invoice in MYOB. To create a purchase order or to enter a supplier's invoice into your MYOB, please start your MYOB. Open your company file and then from the command center, please click purchases and then click enter purchases. A new purchase screen will open. Depending on the nature of your business, MYOB offers four different purchase invoice layouts. To view the different layouts available, please click on the layout button as shown. As the select layout screen appears, you will see that there are four layout options to choose from. These are the available layouts in MYOB. The first option is service and this layout is used by businesses who purchase services. The second option is item. This is used by businesses who purchase products for resale. If you need to specify quantities and unit price, this would be the best layout to use. The third option is professional. This is used by businesses who purchase professional services and need to include the date of the service provided. The final option is miscellaneous layout. This is used to make adjustments to purchases. For this video, we will be using the service layout. In MYOB, you can either create or enter a code from a supplier, purchase order or details from a supplier's invoice. It is optional to record a code or purchase orders, but having this feature helps you to keep track of codes that you have received from your suppliers as well as purchase orders that you have sent to them. The codes that you save can be easily converted to an order or to an invoice. You may also convert a code directly to an invoice without creating an order. For this video, we will be entering details from a supplier's invoice. The first step is to select the supplier where you have made your purchase. To do this, if you already have your suppliers in your company file, start typing the supplier's name in the supplier box as highlighted. Notice that MYOB auto completes the supplier's name as you type. You can also click on the arrow next to the box to select the supplier's name. When you click on the arrow, a list of your suppliers will appear and you may easily select from your list. Click on the supplier's name and click the Use Supplier button. However, if the supplier is not in your company file, you may create a new one by clicking on the New button and then add the supplier's details. Once you select the supplier, you will see that MYOB automatically fills the ship to box with your company details. The details appearing here are taken from the details you have entered into the company file during the setup. Next, enter the purchase order number, date of the invoice, and the supplier's invoice number. The purchase number is auto-generated by MYOB based on the last purchase you have made. You can change this by typing your preferred purchase order number into the box provided. Once this is complete, click below the description label to enter the details of your sale. When you click on the description column, a box will appear so that you can key in the details of this purchase. You may start typing in the description into the text box. The next step is to select your cost of sales or expense account. Press the tab key on your keyboard or use the mouse to click in the account number column. You can either type in the account number or click on the arrow to display a list of your accounts. In the select from list screen, you may click the account that you want to use and then click the use account button. If the account that you want to use is not on your list, then click the new button and create a new one. Press the tab key on your keyboard to move to the amount column. Enter the amount here and press the tab key twice to move to the tax column. And then select your tax code. If your amount is already inclusive of tax, then make sure to tick the tax inclusive box at the top. MYOB will calculate the tax for you as you may notice here. 
You may enter more lines for this invoice by pressing the tab key again to go to the next description line. And then do the same until you finish keying in all the details for this purchase. Once you have completed entering the details, click the record. And there, we're done creating one supplier's invoice. The steps we have shown here are the basic details that you enter to create a purchase invoice. MYOB has advanced features to help you manage your business much better. For example, you can select a comment to be printed on this invoice. You may also select your shipment method or enter your promise date. You can also save this invoice as a recurring transaction or specify an exchange rate if you are buying from a supplier in another currency. If this is a cash purchase, you can also enter the details of the payment in this screen in just one step. At Pacholi Software Solutions, we offer MYOB training, both classroom and on-site. Our on-site training is only available for Metro Manila. This training is very comprehensive and it will take you through step-by-step -step with hands-on examples. Please visit the website link shown to inquire about our MYOB training courses. Purchases and Payables is a part of our MYOB functional training. We cover the following topics from creating suppliers bills to entering payments, creating debit notes, printing or emailing purchase orders, up to managing the purchase journals, and more of MYOB functions that are valuable for your day-to-day -day accounting. Aside from training, we also do offer free consultation which includes a demo of the MYOB features. The demo will be conducted at your office upon request. To request a consultation, please visit the link shown. On-site consultation is available within Metro Manila. If you are outside Metro Manila, we can still offer free consultation through the web if you have a good internet connection. Once again, thank you for watching. If you have any comments on this video, we would be happy to hear from you. Please do watch our other videos in this series to get a better understanding of how MYOB can help you manage your business much better. Have a good day. Maraming salamat po.